Good evening and thanks for being with us on this Saturday night on this Labor Day weekend. I'm Luke Clary and we start tonight with the mill fire. It's burning in Siskiyou County right now, breaking out yesterday afternoon, growing to more than 4,000 acres and ripping through a neighborhood in the town of Weed. Two people were injured. Thousands of people were forced to evacuate their homes. And we now know that around 100 homes were destroyed. The windswept mill fire tore through the town of Weed, leaving an entire neighborhood devastated. Terrible. I lost everything. Resident Dave Rogers owned one of the hundred homes destroyed in Lincoln Heights. Cars and other possessions reduced to ash in this town for the second time in a decade. So they took a lot from us a few years ago. We all pulled through it. Now we got to go through it again. The 2014 Bulls fire burned more than 150 homes and other buildings in Weed. Eight years later, the mill fire. You blink your eye with fire over there, fire over there. It's just everything just jumping. Weather conditions improved overnight. Cal Fire gaining 25% containment, but not before this damage was done. How would you uh, put it into words? Uh, I mean, devastating would be, would be my... Uh, my word. Sergeant Jared Klomperin says he hopes the community pulls together like they did back then. Uh, eight years you have almost 400 homes and some people rebuilt, some people moved away in the first fire and I'm hoping people rebuild. Uh. As water tankers douse the embers on the streets of weed. And I'm hoping we band together and it keeps people here and that we grow stronger. The prospects of rebuilding already on many minds. Meanwhile, the mountain fire, which started yesterday evening, burning near the town of Gazelle, is now almost 5,000 acres. Although only about 100 people live in that town, no word on any injuries or structures destroyed as of right now.